So Aaron O'Toole is the new conservative leader and we already have a controversy and that is his promise to defund the CBC. Now it's a bit surprising because this is something that was on his website for a long time and so it's not a you know secret, it's, there's not a hidden agenda or anything. And I wanted to look at what his pledge was about the CBC, what the CBC's original mandate was and whether or not they're living up to that mandate. So let's jump right in and check out his promise. So here is the O'Toole website and right Right on the front here, defund the CBC, and he's pledging to ending all funding to CBC Digital, which is uh, sort of online shorts or mini documentaries hosted online on the CBC website. Cutting funding for CBC English TV and News Network by 50% with a goal to fully privatize the CBC by the end of his first mandate. And again, the mandate is his uh, election period. So if he gets a majority government, so more than 50% of the seats in the House, then he could be there for up to four or five years. Uh, if it's a minority, obviously a lot less. And so I guess that might play into it. And then maintain funding for CBC Radio and Radio Canada. So this, this in a nutshell, obviously is the pledge. And so a lot of people have been freaking out saying that he wants to defund the CBC. He you know, doesn't like uh, the arts, all these kind of things. But let's look at what the CBC is actually supposed to be doing. Let's take a look at the Broadcasting Act 1991. So this is the Broadcasting Act. We'll just go back up to the top here. Broadcasting Act 1991. And down here, this is the mandate section. If we can scroll up broadcasting by party, uh, broadcasting policy for Canada. Their mandate. The programming provided by the CBC Corporation should be predominantly and distinctively Canadian. No problem. That's that's their point. Uh, reflect Canada and, and its regions to a national to national and regional audiences while serving the special needs of those regions. So again, I guess it can't just be Toronto centric or you know Quebec centric or Western Canada centric. That's you know, pretty fair. Um, actively contribute to the flow and exchange of cultural expression. Hmm, this one kind of interesting. Uh, be in English and in French, re um, reflecting the different needs and circumstances of each official language community, including the particular needs and circumstances of English and French uh, linguistic minorities. Sure. Strive to be of equivalent quality in English and French. Definitely. Strive, you know, that could be a challenge. Contribute to shared national consciousness and identity. Hmm, CBC News. And be made available throughout Canada by the most appropriate and efficient means and as resources become available for the purpose. And lastly, reflect the multicultural and multiracial nature of Canada. So the two here that probably have the most to do with Aaron's uh, promise would be to contribute to shared national consciousness and identity and actively contribute to the flow and exchange of uh, the flow and exchange of cultural expression. Now, CBC television is one thing, and if you're going to have dramas or CBC shows, you know, again, that's just a different thing. But when it comes to CBC News, my big question is this story that True North covered. Apparently, CBC had 500% more headlines about Kamala Harris than they did about Leslie Lewis. So if we're thinking about here, actively contribute to the flow and exchange of cultural expression or ideas, contribute to the shared national consciousness and identity... I would say that fits into national consciousness or, you know, exchange of, of cultural ideas, cultural expression, but they're not necessarily living up to that mandate. And so I think it's a pretty fair thing to say, well, maybe we should at the very least examine what the funding is for CBC, examine what they're doing with that funding or why they are funding certain aspects or certain things. Further, we do have a number of other news channels, national news channels in this country, and our media landscape is often very dominated by American news channels. Now, I'm not saying that that's necessarily a good thing that they're dominated by uh, by American primetime, but that's simply a fact of life. And so a lot of questions can be raised here about the CBC. Are they living up to the original mandate? Now, this article, again, especially was, was very interesting because it was the conservative leadership race that, that uh, Leslie Lewis ran in. And a lot of people have been asking online, and I think rightfully so, would this be the case if she was running for a number of other, for any of the other parties? Um, Jagmeet Singh ran for the NDP. Curious to see what the coverage of that was. Now, there's there's no comparable at that time, but really curious. Did Jagmeet Singh receive as much or as favorable coverage from the CBC as Leslie Lewis did? Now, again, CBC has a mandate, so it's not just the editor's discretion or what they think is going to get the most views. They actually do have a mandate, and I think that's why it's important. Now, I do want to see some more specifics from the O'Toole camp and what they plan on defunding or, you know, what what um, formula they plan on putting out when you have uh, English TV and News Network by 50%. Again, you know, what 50% is at 25-25. Um, so a lot of things to discuss there, but I think it's a very, very valid point that we should be discussing. What is the CBC doing? Are they living up to their mandate? Again, they're not just a news organization that has responsibility to shareholders or just 
for views or for clicks, whatever it is, they have an actual mandate, a legally required mandate that they must live up to. So are they living up to that mandate? What do you guys think? I know that a lot of people out there, Andrew Shear, for example, referenced True North um, saying that people should definitely not take for granted the, or not take matter of factly, some of the opinions that they hear on other news networks or in the mainstream media, CBC. But uh, again, what do you guys think? Do you guys watch the CBC? How much do you watch the CBC? Do you listen to Radio Canada? You know, they've got some good pro programming sometimes, but what do you guys think? Should we defund? Should we look in? I think we should look in, but curious to hear your thoughts. So for True North, I am Sam Ashkenazi. Hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so, so much for watching.